Hello everybody, I'm Ramin and you're listening to my solo podcast. Please stay with me. FIFA World Cup is upcoming. So for those who want to travel to Qatar, knowing about one of the best airports ever, which is located there, could be interesting. The standard advice says it's best to get to the airport two hours ahead of departure time. Anyone flying via Qatar's Hamad International Airport might want to double or even triple that. Not because there is any extra hassle getting through security at this gleaming ultra-modern facility. In fact, before the pandemic added extra layers to all aspects of global travel, if you had signed up to its e-passport scheme, you'd through in minutes. Nope, it's because you're going to want to spend that extra travel time wallowing in what is probably the most luxurious airport on the planet. It's possibly the coolest, too. As of 2021, it's officially the best, according to Skytrax, the organization whose annual airport Oscars have for the past decade anointed Singapore's Changi Airport as the planet's finest place to catch an airplane. Opened in 2014 with the ambition of turning Doha into a global aviation hub serviced by Qatar Airways, HIA now handles more than 30 million travels a year. But passengers walking through its beautiful hallways and lounges outside of peak periods could be forgiven for thinking they were the first to ever set foot in the place. Every gleaming surface of its lavish departure and arrival areas is spotless, even before COVID fears were on the scene. The destination is completely quiet, too. Beyond Islamic calls to prayer, which are made five times a day, HIA is a silent airport. There are no jarring announcements to disturb the call, and at certain times it's so quiet you could hear a pin drop. Built on land reclaimed from the sea, the architecture reflects its coastal location with a rooftop that ripples away from the concourse in swooping peaks and troughs. An adjacent mosque resembles a giant blue droplet of water. Inside, departing passengers walk into a lofty check-in hall, illuminated in daytime by bright sunlight shafting down from scores of lozenge-shaped skylights. At HIA, no one's going to forget this airport's art in a hurry. Some of it is subtle, like the playful fake birds that sit atop the information displays at the front of the airport. Also, a giant surreal yellow teddy bear sits under a black lamp. It's such an arresting sight in the main departure hall that attracts a near constant knot of people grabbing selfie shots. In summary, there are pieces of work that some fanatics might actually travel here to see. An airport on the edge of Arabia seems a surprising place to find groundbreaking pieces of modern art. HIA hopes this element of surprise will help set it apart from rival air hubs. Not posh enough? Okay, so listen to the rest. First class Qatar Airways ticket holders can hustle over to the other side of the main lounge and ride the escalator to Airport Nirvana, the Al Safa Lounge. Designed to closely resemble Doha's prestigious Museum of Islamic Art, this departure lounge feels like hallowed ground. With capacity for 530 people, there is enough room to escape. Guests killing a few hours can make themselves comfortable in cubicles equipped with oversized swivel chairs that would suit 
the most fiendish Bond villains. They can dine in a style with the four-course menu accompanied by fine wines. If they want to catch a movie, there is a private cinema. If they want to sleep, there are private bedrooms that can be booked for four-hour slots. The airport's chief operating officer says about this airport, As the official airport partner for the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022, HIA is ready to create memorable experiences for football fans across the globe and ensure seamless connectivity through the airport. Thank you very much for listening. 